It's a really neat story how I came to be a patient of Dr. Tillery's. As I was in the market for a new dentist, ironically, we received a coupon mailer and there was a coupon in it to see Dr. Tillery for $49.99. My first appointment with Dr. Tillery was really impressive. Honestly, the facility, his office is phenomenal. And so once I was invited back to the dental chair, I was instantly made to feel at home. During my first dental exam with Dr. Tillery, not only did we discover that I had a couple of cavities that needed to be filled, but his hygienist said that as they were doing the oral cancer check on me, which is just a simple exam, the uh, hygienist just lifted up my tongue and looked underneath it, that they discovered a few faint gray lines. She said when I left that it would be a good idea to see a specialist and she gave me a business card as I was leaving and I honestly completely blew it off until I came back for my second appointment to have my cavities filled. After that appointment was over, Dr. Tillery and his staff just came to Roger and I and said, you know, you cannot ignore this. You really need to see um, a specialist about these lines. They've gotten worse since the first time you were in here. Obviously, I, I felt that the oral surgeon would, um, would recommend um, a scalpel biopsy, um, in which case they take part of the lesion and part of the normal cells and submit it to a lab uh, so it can be determined whether something is cancerous, precancerous, or normal. So I made the appointment to see the oral surgeon. Um, he took a, a look at my tongue and my mouth and decided at that point we would need to do some more invasive testing. I was scheduled for a second appointment with the oral surgeon and he did a biopsy on my tongue, um, literally cut the side of my tongue and stitched it back up and the biopsy showed that there were precancerous cells. After I had the biopsy done, we decided that a procedure called an ablation would be the next step and that was probably the most painful thing I've ever been through. The idea, I guess, was to to burn off any affected um, cells and it did heal quickly. After seeing him for six months, the disease on my tongue had clearly progressed. He recommended that I see an oncologist and the tough girl facade that I had been maintaining for six or seven months crumbled. And the most emotional component for me was any thought about leaving my son. I didn't want my little boy to grow up without his mom. Melissa was diagnosed with squamous cell carcinoma, which is a very aggressive cancer. Uh, it can move very rapidly and it can destroy bones, uh, tissue, uh, and it can migrate to other areas quickly as well, like lymph nodes or lungs. So my husband Roger and I consulted with um, a highly recommended surgeon who explained that in order to remove what we now knew was a tumor, the recommended treatment was not radiation, not chemotherapy, but a surgery called a glossectomy they would surg literally surgically remove, cut out half of my tongue, and then rebuild it with a piece of my wrist and a new artery here. The surgeon took a small skin graft from my hip to help close up the wrist. Recovery was intense. It was about two months of caring for my wounds and cleaning my arm and caring for my skin graft site, but my tongue healed beautifully. I was eating and speaking again within a week and a half. 
of the operation and um, cancer free now. I would just encourage everyone to take your oral health seriously. Now it's a real priority and the exam is so simple and so easy for, um, for the oral cancer. It's so simple. A uh, hygienist just simply lifted up my tongue and looked on the underneath side of it. It didn't hurt. It wasn't painful. It was super quick. And because of that, I was able to get the care I needed in the perfect timing to save my life. Well, I'm very appreciative of uh, Melissa's advocacy of our practice. Uh, we've become very close friends and with Roger as well. When you go as far as to help people that may have made a difference as to whether they're here or not, uh, that's the ultimate. I mean, that's the ultimate. Uh, medical doctors do that all the time, but dentists don't always get that opportunity. And when we do, it's, it's very rewarding you form a special bond with those patients particularly, and I think we've got a real special bond.